So here's the deal. Little little recap. Basically, late. Uh, what would that have been? Late. Monday, early Tuesday, there was a bunch of information dropped. And this information came from a leaker or a team of leakers. It's not really clear right now. Uh, but basically, they got access to a ton of information from Insomniac and PlayStation Studios. And when I say a ton, I mean an actual ton. I mean 1.7 terabytes. That's a big meatball. Okay, that's a ton, especially because like documents don't don't count for anything, but um, videos and stuff. There's entire builds and stuff of Insomniac games that have apparently leaked a metric butt ton of stuff. And we like some people thought, oh, well, this just happened randomly. There had been rumors that there might have been a leak. There had been rumors and stuff that the, this was a ransomware attack like a week and a half, two weeks ago, that hackers had got the information. They were asking Sony to pay for it. But as far as I'm aware, nothing was like confirmed. Sony never addressed it publicly. Well, it seems that PlayStation obviously did not pay those those people. They did not engage with it. They did not negotiate with terrorists. They didn't do any of that. And as a result, the ransomware hackers basically just dropped everything. And in this mix, I mean, he, he, like, it would be one thing if this was like a GTA 6 situation where it's like early pre-alpha builds of the game and then you can see like footage and little clips of it. And it doesn't really tell you anything other than that, oh, this game exists and it's third person and it's uh, running at, like it wouldn't really give you any information just like those GTA 6 leaks uh like a year ago didn't really give us any truly useful information about the game other than it existed that would be one thing what's happened here is not just that but uh, you know we've gotten tons of early access uh, uh tons of early early development build footage and stuff um but we've also gotten employee information. They've dropped personal information. I saw one former, not even current, but former Insomniac developer on Twitter, X, whatever, who came out and said that they have, were getting all sorts of alerts because like they, they used Credit Karma or whatever the service is that tracks your, your credit score and like credit card signups and tracks your financial information to make sure that, you know, you're not having your identity stolen. And he tweeted this out and was like, yeah, uh, I'm having tons of alerts go off today because when the information dropped, so did a ton of his information. Um, it's unclear right now, but it seems like if employees like requested to be paid by direct deposit, there's the potential that their bank account information leaked. There's the potential for all of their mailing addresses, passport information, driver's licenses, all of that stuff out in the public eye. And that's a whole other issue. Like that is, th that's a whole other animal, you know, it, like I think for take two interactive and for rockstar, it's like, oh, the GTA six leaks happened. Eh, I mean, yeah, it sucks for the devs and it's not what we would like, but you know, GTA six is still going to be a massive success and it's going to be, you know, great. I'm sure. But with this, we're mixing in like, not just the hard work of devs, but you're also working in like the leaks of the devs themselves. And that's just horrible. Like it's, it's dreadful. All of this to say, like on the one hand, it's stupid for us to like uh, engage with those gameplay leaks and footage and all that stuff, uh, story leaks, uh, information about cast and characters and stuff, because we don't really get anything out of it. Like, what, what am I going to gain from looking at that stuff or finding it out? Like, oh yeah, I'll see a, a kind of really, really rough hewn look at an early development prototype of a game that's years away. I don't get anything from that. Like I'm, I'm good. So we're not looking at that. Plus it's not really my information to share. So I'm just, uh, I'm just like the GTA six leaks. I'm not going to be doing that. I mean, you're an adult or maybe not, but you're your own individual. If you want to find the stuff you can, I would encourage you not to because what you're going to find is again, not going to be useful. It's not going to tell you much of anything about the final product that we get. Um, pre alpha builds and alpha builds don't give you hardly any information. Well, alpha builds sort of do, but pre alpha builds is, is not, uh, let's say it's not indicative of the final product at all. <laughs> okay. So I would encourage you not to look it up beyond that. I mean, there's also a lot of other information that 
came up in this leak that I honestly don't understand how it could have happened, but there's a ton of information for like Insomniac's whole roadmap for uh, their long-term plans. There is alleged information about a canceled multiplayer game, um, all sorts of stuff like that. And I think that stuff is, is more fair game to talk about because it's like big corporate intrigue like who really cares about big multi-billion dollar corporations at the end of the day and it's it, these plans change so frequently like it doesn't really matter i'm sure like what they said in like a lot of these documents are from like two three four years ago so what they said two three years ago is probably a lot different now especially as the years move forward we just you know we're having jim ryan step down and move away so a new CEO of PlayStation could totally change and shift how all of this works. So even that information is not super, super handy or uh, informative. There was some other interesting information. There were there was like information that like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart lost millions. Um, that I, I was surprised to see everybody shocked by that news. I didn't think that was scandalous i thought everybody kind of was aware of that because it was already kind of a niche game it didn't have the widespread appeal of marvel games and apparently it, it didn't i mean it, it lost a lot of money and um other information like sunset overdrive you know made like 500 something dollars in profit it barely broke even and depending on how you account for it, it might not have broken even so there's information like that that's more just interesting because it's factual it happened in the past that is a raw stat that they are saying happen okay that's interesting all the future looking leaks there's not really any point to look at it like especially if you ever worked in a in a company you know that there's things that change constantly constantly so it's just not that useful and um on top of all of this there's a lot of fake information that's been tossed in it's like a disinformation campaign i'll tell you what so there's been a lot of that type of thing happening where people have been like faking slideshow things like i saw uh, some xbox fanboy accounts were retweeting posts from like a three follower account that was saying oh look at this i found in the leaks and it's like a clearly fake slideshow slide that just says or powerpoint slide that just says like um uh, we are terrified of the Activision uh, Blizzard acquisition on Microsoft. We are screwed. This is what we have to do. And like f freaking out about it. I was like, there was no way that this was in a corporate presentation <laughs> at Insomniac from PlayStation executives. But people are buying it. People are like, well, there was a leak and this guy's saying it's from the leak. So therefore it must be true. And it's it's just asinine. So there's a lot of fake information mixed in with all of this, which should be even more reason to not just believe everything that you see. But all told, like it just, it just frankly sucks. Um, it's unfortunate. You know, the Microsoft leaks, I, I see um, Darian mentioning the Microsoft leaks. The Microsoft leaks, I'm assuming you're mentioning the ones that happened as a result of the FTC lawsuit to try and halt or at least delay the acquisition of Activision Blizzard. And for those leaks, um, that, if I recall correctly, I think that was somebody, uh, I'm not sure if it was ever clearly determined, but somebody dropped the ball and published documents that were supposed to be labeled confidential and they basically set it to public. It's kind of like when you're posting a YouTube video, it gives you the option for like unlisted, private, or public, uh, or scheduled. And instead of putting it as private or unlisted, they just set it to, pub like to public and it just went out. So that was, that was very, very strange. Very, very strange. I, I feel less bad for like corporate documents and slideshows and financial stuff going out publicly. Cause it's like, eh, eh. Like, oh, I found out that Microsoft spent x many millions of dollars on the development of this game and they expected it to be published on this date uh when we actually know they spent this much and it published on that date like okay cool that's just interesting it's just kind of cool but it doesn't actively affect future stuff i thought the leaks of like the playstation or the uh the next xbox consoles those kind of were lame and that's unfortunate because they wanted to reveal that in an exciting way and to get people excited for it with a big reveal and presentation and instead it got spoiled in a leak of a slideshow showing like the early drafts of what it might look like and that that stuff sucks i mean it's just like if you saw 
early just like you guys remember the announcement of like the playstation 5 what it looked like how excited everybody was just to see what it looked like because somehow it hadn't leaked yet and there had been a lot of fake <laughs> attempts at drafting it and, and people trying to imitate it but as far as i'm aware it had never leaked and that was so exciting to get that reveal for the first time and having all those surprises spoiled is just kind of lame it just sucks yeah don't listen to luke he's been paid off by jim ryan to diffuse the leaks around the presentations and reveals i mean it's it's just like with all this it's just unfortunate like i i personally enjoy the the excitement of announcements and things i didn't see coming a lot more than leaks like the leaks oh they're interesting oh we saw this or ooh, this three second clip shows us what the next assassin's creed game might look like like okay that might be sort of fun but what's way more fun is when you're at e3 or the game awards or something and then a trailer drops and you're like what that's way more fun you remember that that reveal of kratos at i think it was e3 2016 when he steps out from the shadows and the crowd goes ballistic that is a magical moment that sticks with you obviously for years and years and years that's a fantastic magical experience we can all enjoy and for some reason like we just don't get to enjoy that very frequently anymore um the leaks happen all the time these ransomware attacks happen all the time and it's unfortunate i really really hope that this pushes everybody in the industry to lock down their their information even more um because Sony's been the victim of a couple of these types of attacks. There was the big PlayStation Network attack and hack years ago. That was horrific and leaked a bunch of customer information. There's been a lot. So I just hope that they are making proper investments in IT security and stuff. That would be my hope. But what are you going to do? According to some ordinary gamers, the leak was most likely due to remote access after COVID. I'd, I mean, I'd believe that. You think about all the access points they had to create. For work remote and insomniac is one of the the major work from home developers apparently in the industry in the AAA space right now they've been very proud of their work from home program and work remote programs and i mean famously during covid they got out like uh well they had finished miles morales and then they went and did ratchet and clank rift apart and then they were pumping through spider-man and you know everything else that they've been doing so They've been very, very proud of it. So I'd, I'd buy that, that that could be a, a thing. I saw someone say they deserved it because they announced Wolverine years ago and they haven't said anything since. Flawless argument. Yeah, that's that's stunning. Um, imagine if games were revealed in this stage by the devs themselves. There's a reason they don't do this. Yeah, well, and people that are looking at the early acts or the early, early dev footage and are like, oh, look how bad it looks. I'm like, I have zero similar. I, I think, and this is something maybe you you disagree with me on and that's okay. I think the power of mockery is quite powerful. I think like how you deal with flat earthers, you just make fun of them. Like you can't reason with stupid. You can't rationalize with irrational people. You can't talk sense and walk somebody through a, a logical syllogism or anything when they don't think that way. So rather, I think you just, for those types of people, you tease them. <laughs> until they give up on this stupid idea because it's not worth the social pressure and and you know negativity and that's kind of what happened with flat earth i mean flat earth has kind of gone belly up in the last few years just because it became so like if you came out as a flat earther everybody would make fun of you so hard that it just wasn't worth it for a lot of people anymore with all this i i just think that the leaks are really unfortunate it sucks um oh, we're on camera there we go okay it sucks it's unfortunate i wish that they didn't happen and we could just see this stuff when it's ready and when they're ready to uh drop it that's my hope but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do i mean at this point it's out there all i would ask is that you guys don't look it up because i don't think you get anything from it we can talk about little um information about like the corporate side of things and the information that's been dropped in terms of like the corporate side of stuff because i don't feel that bad for jim ryan having some of his crappy plans leaked but as for the employees as for the work of these artists as for like looking at gameplay footage or anything that's leaked i'm not really interested in doing that so uh we're not going to do that he took my thing